Hello guys and welcome back to another World of Tanks video. Today we are going to be watching Vulture555 from the Reddick clan playing his T50-2. And oh boy, I can already tell by the looks of it this is going to be an incredible game. I mean, fighting against tier 4s with a high DPM light tank is always fun. Not to mention on a very powerful map for light tanks. So we're gonna go into his camera here and let's check out his missions. Capture 60 base points, or defend and win the battle. That's a pretty easy one. But it is for the object 260. So good good on you. Working on the 260. But that's only LT number eight. You gotta earn a lot to get that 260, but good luck to you, Vulture555, to get this 260. But anyway, that is not what we're thinking about right now. So, the first thing I'm going to answer is, what is the G50-2? Well, it is a tier 6 reward vehicle for years of participation in the World of Tanks game, and it I, the reason I called it a high damage per minute light tank is because it doesn't do a lot of damage per shot, as you will see. Well, he doesn't actually manage to hit that M5 Stewart. Okay, he missed all those shots. And that one. Jesus, Vulture, 5 5. Vulture, I'm just gonna call him a Vulture because it's hard to say 5 5 5. Um, Vulture, like, how are you missing these shots? Oh, there we go. So, I think it might be either 75 or 85 alpha, yeah, 85 alpha damage, so it's the exact same gun as on the T-34, the tier 5 tank. And now he's kind of just cleaning up all the base. Not necessarily bad players, but not very good plays by the enemy team to park in front of a 2 Two or three thousand damage per minute tank. I, I forget what it actually is, but T-34 is one of my favorite tanks. We're just gonna go into my own camera because I'm tired of him zooming out. Now he's gonna go after the KV-1. He's already up to 1600 damage in this game of World of Tanks. That's one incredible tally just by itself. He does the, what I do with artillery. I click and then I zoom out. And then most of the time it means I miss. And he's already out of standard ammo. That's kind of funny. Standard ammo shouldn't be that easy to go through, but it is. I guess in a tank it shoots. That man bullets very quickly. It's probably gonna go through a lot of standard ammo. But Nonetheless, we've got 22, near a quarter of, a th two and a quarter thousand damage already, and we're already just above three minutes into this battle. And we're already out of standard ammo. He's gonna be losing some credits. I can tell. Now this is my first time watching this replay, but I try to pick the ones that suit either me best. Or just the best ones. So, Vulture555, if you're watching this or if you ever see this, maybe on somebody else's replay, you did a great job. All. Even this is what I is what I would consider an insane battle in a T50-2. I mean, I'm an incredible. Uh, light tanks are my tanks, and fast mediums like those are my kinds of tanks. And this. This is more than I've been able to achieve in the T-50-2, although I haven't played it all that much. That might just be my own bad move, because I prefer light tanks that have more of a decent damage per shot or an auto-reload, but you don't need an auto-reload on a T-50-2 or anything that has this T-34 gun. And to be frankly honest with you, if you've got a, um, what should you call it? 
Russian or Soviet vehicle, an auto reload is frankly never gonna happen to you. Because auto reloaders are for. Like French tanks have auto reloaders all the time. But not Soviet vehicles, I don't. I think a lot of them were designed to have them, but the World of Tanks community, the game developers, didn't put those into the game. I'm pretty sure this is a Soviet vehicle, correct? Yeah, this is Soviet. I guess it has to be with the T-34 gun, or it could also be Chinese. Oh, and one thing I want to point out is that Vulture 5.5 has a double mark of excellence, and this is probably a great time to do this. Take the clip for the thumbnail, so you might see this later. Where is it? There we go. There's my thumbnail clip. And then I can go V space. Let's get back into it. Hold up. When I pressed it to shift. Oh, it just goes into stuff. There's a second there. I thought I was doing something special. But now let's see what he's seeing again. Or she. Pardon me. This could be very well be a girl. And it could also very well be a boy. It just depends. I just seem to think that Vulture is a guy kind of name, but whatever, you know, I, I'm, it could be anybody. Oh, there's, that's a good name, Alone in the Dark. I hate when people make super good names like that and then they run it with numbers. I find they just don't look good with numbers. Um, the only time you should use numbers is like using it zero instead of an O or something like that. But anyway, um, let's not talk about names because that's not anything to do with this game. If you want to listen to me talking about names, you should watch a video that I haven't yet created because, you know, that that's how I work. Oh, they took his defense. Them bombs. He was gonna try and get some more defense for his mission. That's okay though, because he's dead. I'm pretty sure he's not going for the mission this battle. Clearly not, because he seems to be going quite hard in the light spectrum. But now he's targeting this boogie, or buggy, I like buggy. So I'm gonna say buggy, because this is my replay. If you wanna make your own big replay, find it and then make it. I'm not revealing my secret, I'm a magician. So now he's kind of just waiting for either our T1 Heavy, who is here on the minimap, or Stug B, here on the minimap, to spot out the buggy. And then he's going to use his incredible damage per minute to, well, frankly wear his face. I'm sorry, I'm yawning. The buggy's up there, he's going to have to move. But, or not, just to shoot it, I guess. But the buggy might back up. But he only has 10 rounds left, and if I was in this kind of position, I would wait for our team to get all of the tanks to nearly dead. And then I'd find a tank with low health, and it's easy to flank like the AT-2. There's an AT-2, right? Yeah, and just kill him with my last shell. So I want that medal, I've never achieved it myself. It's relatively easy, because all you really have to do is have a low shell carry tank. But I never really think about it, unless I'm watching a replay like this. When I've got time to think, I'm not thinking about what is my next move is, and how I'm going to avoid getting shot by the LKB-65 too. This is an amazing play, using these ridges to avoid him, and oh, there's the AT. It's kinda, kinda good. I mean, now our team can f make a flanking maneuver on him. What is our KB-1 doing? I'm not really sure. <gasps> I'm yawning a lot. Boy, it's early at this point. It's only like, let's see here, seven? That's great though. 
So these are some interesting shaped hay bales. I just want to point that out for a quick second here. Like what? Hmm. It's interesting. Let's go back into the to this game. So one thing I want to point out right now is that he's pulling into this bush. And that's a great play, but also this is the Dark Runners camo, I think. Or it's no, this is WG Fest. Okay, for a sec I thought that was W um Dark Runners camo. And that Dark Runners camo is impossible to get now. Cause it's for the Halloween event. For the last Halloween event, because War Gaming was lazy last year and they didn't even make the Halloween. Not sure what our M10 RBFM is doing. If I was in uh, Vulture's shoes right now, oh boy. Well, first of all, I'd flank this LKB, but he's already seeming to do that, so I don't really need to talk about it. Oh, and this is just tasty. That LKB did everything he could. Good job. Good play on your part, buddy. You, you can save yourself. And now he's down to five shells, but there's only two tanks left. Type 61 should be either a three or a four shot. Oh, with that spotting, he can tell he's a two shot. So, Vulture's gonna set up an ambush behind either this lump, or he's just gonna drive out into the open. He can't waste his shells, and that was smart. Now he's going to use auto aim so he doesn't miss any of his shots and boom. There goes type 64. Now it's just the AT2. And who knows, he might get this kill the last tank with his last shell. So, our M10 RBFM, it seems to be moving up. And. Now it's probably just a matter of fact of if it can, if our M10 RBFM can get there quick enough to help Vulture. Because if Vulture can get, achieve this, this is like the greatest thing ever. I, I have never seen a replay like this. Mind you, I've only watched like 15. And yes, there is some times where I film a replay and then it's not good enough. Now. I'm not sure if Vulture555 knows about this, um, this mission, or this reward, but I think what he's going for is just the base captured mission. So you do that, uh, it'll take a minute, and then he'll have it. He might also be trying to lure the AT2 out into the open. Now, our M10 RBFM should kill Steel. Now, Vulture seems to want to do this mission pretty badly. So he's gonna finish this mission part of the deal, capture 60 points. And wham bam zam, he's captured 60 points, there's his mission, woohoo! Now they gotta win as well. Oh, I think he has to participate in the successful capture of the base. Our M10 RBFM is coming with the flag. Vulture 555 is attempting to make a play here. But our M10 RBFM has got to lower down pretty low. So, I guess Vulture can shoot his first two shots, but he's got to save his last one. He's jumped in the base just as the two-minute siren goes off to alert AT2, that if the AT2 does not move, it will be their own problem. And now we wait. Wait for that AT2 to come out. Up to 35 base capture points. Now he has to make a play. Our M10 looks like he's going to try and kill the AT2. And he still had two shots. Oh no. That's not very good. You could have gotten an award. You should have shot your shots. 
And there's my replay. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one, and I'll bring you guys back for the post-game results. Okay, so my mic wouldn't activate with the shortcut, so I had to click on it. But what an amazing game. Nine kills, 4,400 damage, and... Mm, you know, buddy, you really should have gotten that additional medal by shooting your two shots and then finishing the AT-2 off with your last ammo. Because this is looking pretty bland. Only a Radley Walters, I guess that's pretty good. High caliber. Hmm. Oh, he was a Canadian ace tank. Ace. I happen to be Canadian. Uh, top gun for more enemy vehicles. On, than any other person on your team. Obviously a smashing ace tanker for the 19, nearly 2,000 base experience points. And, oh boy. Oh boy, Vulture555. Five, five, five. I bet you your clan Red Egg is pretty happy about this, and I'm sure you are too. Uh, if only I had sponsors. You might be asking why, well, because then I could send you something nice. But whatever. This is still a cracking game. And mind you, he lost a lot of credits. And why isn't it showing me the difference with the premium account? That's odd. I should show you the difference. Maybe it's because he's in a T50-2. I'm not sure. But anyway, super good game. 23 critical hits. Oh, gosh. Um, not that much spotting, though. Not what you would think from a light tank. And, yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one, which I know I sure did. If you did, make sure to smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And comment down below which of these tanks was the easiest kill. Not the hardest, easiest kill. Other than the AT-2. Be creative. And who knows, there might, the keyword being might, be a, ro be a special reward for you, if you get it, what I'm thinking too. So, I'll see you at the end of eternity. See you in the next episode. Goodbye.